And while the PDP flag bearer uh, to the 2023 presidential election, Atiku Abubakar, is reveling in the euphoria of his emergence at the just concluded primary, the contest threw up many issues, including the exchange of money for votes. Will this dollarization of politics allow for the emergence of good leaders? Sifan Sen attempts to answer that question. The leading opposition party, the PDP, has concluded its party's presidential primary just like other political parties except the APC. But the issue leading to the primary became even more pronounced during the contest, the exchange of money for votes. It is now gaining traction as dollarization of the primary largely because the money used in buying the votes of the delegates were in dollars. But this phenomenon has been recorded in previous exercises, not only in the PDP. Former presidential aspirant of the PDP, Peter Obi, had pulled out, according to sources, because the process had become at variance with his principles. Mohammed Hayatuddin equally pulled out of the race because it was obscenely monetized. But to what extent does the monetization of the process affect the emergence of good leaders? It's unfortunate that money has become a determining factor in Nigeria's politics. Uh, I think after this election, Nigerians have to discuss the corruption that exists within the delegate system. As long as you have a delegate system where the highest bidder uh, carries the trophy, then it will strangulate our democracy. During the PDP primary, EFCC operatives were on the ground monitoring the exercise. That will not be filled with this kind of rancor and will not be this obscene when looked at. Because this is the problem. If you pay these delegates and buy their consciences, they don't have no right. Most candidates fail to question what they do. The monetization phenomenon raises a lot of concerns about the role money increasingly plays in the country's electoral process. The delegates, that points to you to what Mr. Peter B was saying, that, and which Mr. Hayatuddin also repeated, that the process is obscenely monetized. If it is obscenely monetized, and you have such a few number of people voting for who will be president because of monetary inducements, then it means we need to take a proper look at our processes of producing the president. For analysts like this, the country would have to take another look at the process if good governance is to be achieved. See Fun ACN TVC News, Abuja.